channel organic and hydroponic urban grow friends today we are going to talk about growing a potato into a soilless system friends normally we sow potato into the soil because potato is a tuber crop and it grows beneath the soil now when we talk about growing it hydroponically or the soilless system then we must grow it into some media so that it will good, get the good anchor into the for the roots and it will have a space to grow the good tubers so today in this video i am going to discuss in detail about how to start your potato into the soilless system what are the distance we need to maintain what is the depth of sowing we need to do what preparation we need to do to grow it potato into the soilless system successfully so to know everything in detail please stay connected to the video till the end let us start this video friends as i have said you we are going to grow this potato into the soilless system and this is our soilless system with the coco peat many people call it as a hydroponic system but this is not the true hydroponic system because in hydroponic the media is the water only here we are going to use some media soft media like coco peat and we are only going to feed the nutrition in the hydroponic way so this is the a part of soilless system now as i said potato is a tuber crop so it grows from its old season tuber but we cannot sow old season tuber directly into this coco peat we must sprout it before sowing it into the coco peat for that what we can do we can take the old season good potato if the potato size is too big then we can cut it into the pieces around 60 to 80 grams and then we must start the sprouting process for sprouting we can keep it into the moist place with the light shadow or the very indirect light and it will start sprouting on the many area now if i show you this is the sprouting you can see this i'm showing it from the closing so this is the all the sprouting from where it all the different stem is going to come out now we must also keep in mind the sprout should not be too long otherwise it will be difficult to sow as well as it is a chance to get it broken and once the sprout is broken the eye will die and you will not get the any potato plant so we need to be careful while sowing it now once we prepare our seedling we can treat them with the trichodermine pseudomonas after that we can start the sowing now this is our grow bed system with the coco peat media now you can see that this system is around 30 feet long and 1 and 1/2 feet wide here we are going to maintain the two line and we have maintained this line around 1 feet distance so 1 feet plant to plant and 3 inch on the sides we have left for the sowing the potato tuber we have to maintain the distance of 9 inch between the tuber so that is how this will get around little less than 1 square feet of the space and this space is good enough for growing the potato into the soilless system so this is the distance we need to maintain for 60 to 80 g of the tuber weight now once we set all the things now we are need to sow this now for sowing we must keep in mind that once the potato stem is coming out a new potato coming from the stem so its stem should have at least 4 to 5 inch space into the soil so that the whenever the new sprout is coming out will grow the potato into the media and for that when we saw the tuber we must maintain at least 4 to 5 inch of the media above the tuber so here what we'll do we'll saw the potato tuber around 6 inch depth so 1 inch depth will be for the height of this potato tuber and 4 to 5 inch depth for the growing the new potato now sowing is very simple into this media when we start sowing we simply need to dig a hole into this coco peat it is very soft and very easy to dig out the hole so we are digging this hole around 6 inch to 7 inch then we'll place this tuber while placing the tuber we must keep in mind that cut portion of this tuber must be on the bottom side of the media and the sprouted portion should be on the top so this is how we need to put this all this 
tuber which we have sprouted and simply cover it with the cocopit media same way we are putting one more seed so you can see that very easy way of sowing this potato tuber so we are just ensuring the cut portion on the bottom and the sprouted portion on the top so this will give good enough space for new tuber to grow into this media now this is how we can complete all our sowing into this now talking about the watering you can see that this coco peat we have moisture it very well before sowing and now we are not going to give any of the water till all the sprouts come out and plant will establish and that will take around 20 to 25 days so after 20 to 25 days we can start feeding this potato now potato is a heavy feeder and we cannot make the nutrition from the tank so what we'll do here we are going to manage dry feeding so i will update you on the nutrition management with the dry feeding into the upcoming days with the separate video but right now we are going to complete this with the sowing and once we have sow it we must ensure that all the sprouting come out good and after that we are starting this nutrition and the water so friends if you are interested growing potato into your soilless system you can also grow it into the pot instead of this grow beds or any big vessel make sure the depth is at least 9 to 10 inch or 12 inch that will good for any tuber crop and start sowing your potato early as possible so you will get the advantage of the winter and get the good potato harvest in the future i will update you with the nutrition management also so you can get very good harvest from your small area so make your preparation and get ready for getting the good potato growing and yield happy growing